I'm here at the SHOT Show with uh, Ken Ayler, is it? A pronounced Ayler, that's uh, the way my father pronounced the German umlaut O. Okay, great. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about something I think that's interesting to air gunners, which is the uh, 35P. Model 35P is tied off the 35, and the P stands for printer and proof. Okay, and basically how does this work? It's the... Uh, Conventional chronograph with optical screens. Uh, the big difference is it uses three screens, so we're measuring, making two velocity measurements on each shot. So long as you can compare one to the other, if they agree, you say, hey, the thing is working. If they disagree, you know you have to check something and make it work. Are they taking a reading then between one and two and two and three? Right. We're taking one velocity reading between the first screen, the second screen, and the other velocity from the first screen to the uh, last screen. Right. Okay. Uh, the, and we consider the velocity from the first to the last to be the primary velocity because we're measuring it over a longer distance. Okay, great. How long have you been doing this? been doing this since about 1966. All right, and the reason you started uh, into the uh, chronograph business? Started into the chronograph business because I wanted one. I've been loading a 30 out 6 for about five years. Herders wanted $120 for their chronograph. I was a lieutenant making not more than twice that per month, so I built one. Okay, very good. Now, these are... Uh, high technology, state-of-the-art kind of machines. Uh, how do you test them to make sure they work before they leave the uh, factory? Well, before the, any unit leaves the factory, we uh, do all the bench tests, check the clock frequency, make sure it counts, it prints, and that's everything else. But the uh, final test, people laugh at. We set up the screens, we plug in the chronograph, and we shoot with a BB gun either a Red Rider or a one pump and a pump up gun, but the BB is hard to see, it's short, it's small, it's going slow, and it's very difficult for the screens to work. So if the chronograph works with the BB gun, it's going to work with just about anything else. How many BB guns have you used up over the years? I don't know how many we've used up. We've, we've worn out a, a whole batch of uh, Daisy 880s because we use those because you vary the velocity. How many strokes do you want? You know, one pump is about 300 feet per second. Uh, uh, Ten pumps uh, rattles pretty good. All right. Well, Ken, I appreciate you taking a minute and chatting with me here. It's a, it's an interesting to find out how uh, you know these chronographs not only are used for air guns but the air guns contribute to their construction. That's a, well, that's a great story. Well, actually, Daisy and Crossman have worn out a whole lot of chronograph printers with their air guns. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you very much, Ken. Thank you.